Well, we've already put the instructions in our laptop. We'd like to be able to see if we can send them down to our robot now. So double click on this and start up a robot. Left click on File and left click on Open Project. And you'll see, because we've saved it, robot version 1 here is here. We'll click on that, left click and left click on Open. It's loading and now we have our program. Good. Now, if we go down here, you can see that EV3 is has no brick connected. We will now have to start up the EV3 robot for it to be recognized by the system. Now, you may get a notice about updating the program book um, Brick's firmware version. This is a new um, EV3 Brick and this is the first time it's been used. We have firmware 1.01H down here, which is not the current version. We click OK. We'll go to Tools firmware update click on that and it's firmware update 1.03 H which will replace 1.01 H so we click that one and when it goes blue the download becomes available so we click that and it's now preparing the EV3 brick for downloading the more recent version. Well, it was up successful. Mm -hmm. That's just on three minutes and three seconds. I timed. <clears throat> we click OK. And we click Close, I presume. Now, we have EV3 down here. And... Oh, it hasn't... Uh, it's still starting in Mindstorms. Mm -hmm. Right, it's gone green now, and that's 3 minutes 35 seconds. Now that we have updated the firmware, and it is the latest version, 1.03H, and we have started up the EV3, you'll notice there's a red EV3 here which shows that the system recognizes we have an EV3 connected. Now we can either click on this one which will download the program into our EV3 robot or we can click on this one which will download and run it. Let's click on this one. Well it worked and to find out how to save our program now that we've finally got it working, uh, we can go to the next tutorial. Thanks.